growing your own food in your own backyard. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. I am growing kale in a container. And as you can see, it is ready for harvesting. I love kale, it's a very high nutritional vegetable. There's so much you can do with kale. You can use it for juicing, or you can put it in your salads, or you can eat it by yourself. One of the things I like about growing kale is that it tastes so much better than the store bought because they're very sweet, very tender. So right now, let's just get started on harvesting the kale. So what I want to do is I want to look at each kale plant and I want to harvest from the bottom. And as I'm harvesting from the bottom, this is kind of, it, it allows me to come back and harvest more. So what I've done is I harvest everything here and then it's going to keep growing all the way up to the top. Here's another one. So as you can see, this one here, it has a leaf here I can harvest, a leaf here I can harvest, I can harvest this one, I can harvest this one, and this one. So now what I've done is I harvest from the stock and its stock's gonna keep growing and all the leaves are gonna grow at the top. So I'm going to take the time to go ahead and get all these leaves harvested. And it's almost kind of like cut and come again. So I'm, I'm cutting and then I can come again and harvest some more. So this stock got harvested. So I'm going to go and harvest all these until I get all this kale harvested. And I'm putting it in water, as you can see. Some of the smaller ones like this, I probably won't harvest all the way to the top because it's still a very young. I want to try to get some of the bigger ones like this one. Harvesting from the bottom. So again, cut and come again. So once so this, so this stalk, so you can see the stalk right here. Now, it's gonna continue growing and it's gonna put out more leaves up at the top so I can come again and harvest in another couple of weeks. Same way with this. And I'll continue doing this and I'll be right back. So I've just harvested my kale Nero Tuscana and I always like to just put it in the container so I know what kind of kale I'm growing. And so now the kale has um, been harvested and therefore I am going to have more of each of these stalks grow up and bear more leaves. And one other tip I want to also provide is kale, lettuce, cabbages, greens are all belong to the brassica plant family 
and they do have a tendency to get attacked by the white moth butterflies. So to protect your crops from being eaten up by insects, squirrels, specifically that white moth caterpillar that likes to deposit their eggs on your crops and then you get worms eaten up to your crops. So you want to provide your crops with a insect barrier protection cover and you just put it over your container just like this and you don't have the headaches of worrying about critters, squirrels, chipmunks, rabbits munching on your crops and then right under here I just I'll just tie it like this just tie it tight just like this just really simple process that keeps all the critters from getting to the crops and then as you can see it's sitting on the deck it's getting sunshine it's getting a little um, shade barrier and it's protected so thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button